Now, if you go into Plymouth next week, you're in for a big surprise. No, not a teddy bear's picnic. The city is going to be home to 40 elephants. The brightly painted sculptures, which have each been individually designed, will be dotted around the city to form an art trail. Yes, from Sutton Harbour to the Hoe, every corner of the city will become part of Elmer's Parade. It's all to raise money for St Luke's Hospice after the charity enlisted the help of local author David McKee, along with Elmer, the star of his children's books. Our arts reporter Emma Raminski has been for a preview. Elma, Elma, there never was an elephant like Elma. Elma, Elma, and very soon he's coming out to play. Welcome to the herd. This is the first time all of the sculptures have been seen together before they're scattered across the city as part of the art trail. They're all different, but they're all based on Elmer. The creation of Plymouth-born author and illustrator David McKee. His children's books based on the little patchwork elephant have sold 10 million copies in the last 30 years. So what does he think of Elmer's new look for his hometown? I wouldn't have a favourite, seriously, because it, it's like uh, your children, you know, you, you love them all and, and they surprise you with what they, they do. It's really hard to choose a favourite, they're all so brilliant, but this is mine. It's called Sit Amongst the Flowers. The artist had an idea of making it into a seat. Each sculpture is sponsored by a local business and they'll be all auctioned off at the end of the trail. The idea is they raise money for the care St Luke's provides both in their hospice and in people's homes. In terms of the amount of people we think are going to come and see the trail, there'll be about 200,000 people. We think in total the auction could bring in around £200,000. Local schools have painted a further 25 mini elephants that will go on display at Mount Edgecombe. The project has been used as a gentle way to introduce the children to the work the charity does and the topic of bereavement. So obviously it's quite a tricky subject but connecting that, that subject to a character like Elmer who is loved from such an early age by so many children, it just makes that an, an, easier, an easier subject to broach with them. I quite like it because they've used tissue paper instead of just painting right on it. I love all these Elmers because they're unique in their own ways. Artists have put hours of work into each sculpture and their inspiration for their designs are as varied as the locations that they will be placed in. One clever artist has really thought about their elephant at night. This one glows in the dark. The character Elmer is world famous. The organisers of Elmer's Big Parade hope it'll also put Plymouth on the map. Emma Minsky, BBC Spotlight, at Herd HQ. They are all absolutely beautiful, aren't they? they so are well painted. Yeah, I'm a great fan of one of David McKee's other characters, Mr Ben, do you remember him? Mr Ben, yes, yes. I do remember Mr Ben. revealing our age Yeah, Yeah, uh, yes, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Happy memories. Yeah. Now, they've come all the way from...